Now available on Kickstarter, John Haynes at Death's Door. The man who rules the world takes on the Greek god of death in this all-new Kickstarter-exclusive John Haynes comic book. Put in your pledge and get the standard, variant, or retro covers of John Haynes at Death Store and other great stretch goal rewards on Kickstarter today. During a press conference last Tuesday, New York Mayor Eric Adams stated that an influx of illegal immigrants is proving to be a real burden on New York City's safety net and public services. Now, according to your Eric Adams, these illegal immigrants who are bussed and flown to New York City by the Biden administration are proving to put a lot of burdens on New York City's safety net, which it seems to be straining under the weight of all of paying for all of these illegal immigrants who come to, New to America for asylum. Now, the reason why you have so many of these illegal immigrants coming to cities like New York City is due to the arrogant boasts of Eric Adams' predecessors, Bill de Blasio, the former mayor of New York, and Andrew Cuomo, the former governor of New York. Back in 2016, your Bill de Blasio, the former mayor of New York City, bragged that New York City was a sanctuary city and New York City would be able to handle an influx of illegal immigrants and provide them with all of the services of the city and allow them to be a part of New York City. Unfortunately, what has happened over the last year as your Eric Adams has taken office is your Eric Adams and many on the left are seeing the harsh reality of trying to cover the costs of all of these illegal immigrants who come to your so-called sanctuary cities. As they try to bring in these illegal immigrants, what is happening is the city's safety nets are straining under the weight of large populations of illegal immigrants and trying to provide services for the illegal immigrants and the legitimate citizens of New York City. That is what is happening right now here in New York and in other sanctuary cities like Washington, D.C. The mayor is finding out that the talk, the, the bragging that they did has to, there has to be a cost covered as related to it, and they're finding that they're not able to cover those costs as they're dealing with shrinking tax bases. Now, the tax bases of places like New York City, it has been eroding for the last couple of years due to extreme far-left policies by politicians like Bill de Blasio and Andrew Cuomo, such as bail reform, and as they push these policies, they go out here and drive away their tax base, and as their tax base erodes, they still try to hold on to these policies about providing sanctuary cities in an attempt to try to, to keep their promises to those that they went out here and tried to pander to because their sanctuary city promise was one big virtue signal to spite those on the right who were in, in, in power under the Trump administration. Unfortunately, under the Biden administration, they have had to try to fill these promises and they're finding that they can't keep these promises because the tax base has completely eroded and they don't have the fiscal revenue coming in to provide services for non-citizens and provide services for citizens because the budget is extremely crunched. Now, many of these politicians like your Eric Adams on the left thought they were going to get guaranteed money from your Joe Biden as part of the Build Back Better program. Unfortunately, your Joe Manchin and Christian Sinema, members of your Joe Biden and Eric Adams party, have gone out here and prevented that Build Back Better agenda from making any momentum. And that has put a lot of pressure on local politicians like your Eric Adams, who see that their revenue base is eroding and 
are now looking to beg the federal government for help. Unfortunately, there is no help because on the local level, you have to have a revenue base to be able to provide services and you have to have a tax base to maintain that revenue base. Unfortunately, your Eric Adams and his predecessors alienated many of the hardworking New Yorkers with policies like his uh, like his bail reform and the jab mandates. And what's really interesting here is while he's saying that the influx of illegal aliens are providing a burden on New York City's services, he has a way to relieve those services right in front of him by allowing the million New Yorkers to go out here and go back to work by just ending these jab mandates on the private sector because your Eric Adams continuing to push the Bill de Blasio jab mandate for the private sector keeps a million unvaccinated New Yorkers from being able to go to work and that's a million people who could provide a revenue and tax base that would alleviate a lot of the burden on New York's safety net and public services because it's the taxes that those working class people would pay that would provide your Eric Adams a revenue base and that would allow him to relieve the burden unfortunately relieving that fiscal burden this is something your Eric Adams doesn't want to do because this won't get him any brownie points with other leftists and this won't allow him to virtue signal but what he doesn't see is that he's looking like a beggar out here talking about how these I illegal immigrants are providing a real burden on New York City's safety services and it's also making him look like he's not very competent as related to managing New York City's fiscal um, services because a good fiscal manager would be able to say look we have a revenue problem as related to services and instead of begging the federal government for help first he would be sitting here saying okay i need to end this jab mandate on the private sector and let many of these unvaccinated new yorkers go back to work so that they can continue so they could bring some much needed revenue into new york city and bring that revenue into the city and allow New York City's businesses to grow. Unfortunately, instead of him making a logical and critical thinking decision, he continues to stay in his feelings and continues to keep a mandate in place that he's not even enforcing. And this mandate keeps people from being able to make money and keeps people from being able to pay taxes. Meanwhile, he's sitting here hoping to get try to get federal money from a, a, a president who basically wrote a check that his ass can't cash and many of these politicians are finding that they wrote this check as related to illegal immigrants and now they don't have the funds to pay the bills that many of these illegal immigrants are running up as related to their services such as the welfare services such as ebt food stamp services such as medicaid and medicare you are running up huge bills that you can't pay and what's even more troubling is that you have a mayor who denies everyday american citizens who are a part of new york city from being able to go to work because they don't want to take a jab as related to this private sector mandate. He won't let residents of New York City go to work, but he wants money for services for illegal immigrants. This is a completely backwards frame of thinking, and this completely backwards frame of thinking is shows how backwards many are on the left, you're talking about how these immigrants are a burden, but then you put a burden on American citizens who refuse to take a jab and you don't allow them to work and you don't see how backwards your actions are. That's the whole troubling thing about your Eric Adams. He sits there and talks about how illegal immigrants are a burden on New Yorkers, but he doesn't want to look at the burden he makes on unvaccinated New Yorkers who are 
expressing their constitutional right not to take a medicine and denying them a right to get employment. He sits there, again, on one side, talking about all of the burdens as related to him being able to provide for illegal immigrants, but he doesn't see how denying legal immigrant, legal American citizens a right to go to work is hurting not only um, the unvaccinated, but it's also hurting New York's tax base, because if you want the money to provide services to New Yorkers, you need to let unvaccinated New Yorkers go to work. So he doesn't, he just, he's like talking about this burden, hoping that he can get some money and some brownie points from Joker Joe, but Joker Joe, it is, his whole agenda is completely stalled by um, in the House and the Senate, and the, the money is right there for him to make as related to one million New Yorkers. There's a million people ready to go back to work and all he can and he can get all of that tax money right in front of him. But the only thing keeping him from getting that tax money is his ego, is his pride, and the fact that he's so in his feelings hoping to get brownie points with all of these other leftists, but these leftists don't see how their policies or their, are impeding their ability to make progress. So I listened to your Eric Adams, and I also listened to the mayor of Washington complaining about illegal immigrants, but the, their whole approach to illegal immigrants showed their arrogance, and because it showed their arrogance, what happens is they now, their mouths wrote checks, their butts couldn't cash them, and they don't even understand that there's money waiting to be made, but because they're so in their feelings and so caught up in their ideals, they don't see the reality of the situation they made. They made all of these promises that they could take care of all of these people, and once they got overwhelmed, they, they wound up sitting there embarrassed as a result, not understanding that there was a reason why we had to secure the border, and the reason why we had to secure the border and set a boundary was because we, can, um, we in a, these municipal services can only take care of a certain amount of people. They cannot take care of everybody from another nation because to take care of another of a whole group of a people from another nation is basically overwhelming, and you can't really. You, there's not enough people being able to pay taxes to take care of all of these people with municipal services. And your Eric Adams doesn't even see how he hobbles himself by denying a million people the opportunity to go to work with his private sector mandate. And he doesn't see how the private sector mandate is one of the reasons why this whole influx of illegal immigrants is becoming an even uh, greater burden that is stressing the safety net of New York City, because you, the more you need more people out here working in order to shore up your tax base, and when your tax base has been eroded by high crime due to policies like bail reform, and it's been eroded by a ridiculous policy that isn't even enforced, like the private sector jab mandate, all this does is create a problem as related to your revenue and your revenue streams. And again, this just shows poor fiscal management because a good fiscal manager is going to look at his revenue streams before he runs his mouth because he understands that he cannot go out here and run his mouth and write a check that his municipality is not able to cash. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct imprint, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. You can find many of my works on, in paperback and Kindle format, and you can also find my books on Smashwares, the iBookstore, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.